All right, we have the latest in the new wave of toys from NECA on the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon series. We've got Bebop and Rocksteady here, our lovable idiotic villains from the cartoon series. Uh, this is part of the new wave, or the new wave, like I said, we have some recolored turtles, similar to the turtles we just got, only these are in actually brighter skin color, so it's a little more cartoon accurate, as well as a two-pack of the foot soldiers, and then, of course, Bebop and Rocksteady themselves. But packaging in line with the previous releases, open window box on the front, nothing really to complain about other than the fact that the cartoon art here on the front Obviously, this is a licensing type of thing, but that is nowhere near accurate what they look like in the cartoon series, nor is it what they really look like inside this package. So that's kind of an odd choice, but that's what happens when you have licensing in the mix and you get lawyers and legal, legal rights and all that stuff. So it is what it is, but like I said, the packaging overall is in line and follows the fit form and look of the previous releases we got so let's go ahead and open these guys and see what they look like up close all right we have rocksteady and let me tell you guys these figures are big bulky and heavy just the way we like them because at 50 dollars these target exclusives are kind of pricey as far as you know toys and collectibles go but you get every single penny you paid for with these the detail on these guys are amazing the accessories, the paint job, the scale, just the weight. Like I said, everything about this comes at a premium and an exceptional premium at that. I mean, look at look at the detail on this guy. Mouth opens, closes, little, little details like, you know, the grenades here on his bandolier, which is fused to his stomach. Got the, the pot belly. Paint job looks great. Got the, the dual shades there, front and back. That way he looks a little more like the cartoon as far as the cell shading. Lots of points of articulation. The wrist pivot, fold in and out, elbow joints, shoulder joints. Looking good. His sword is attached, so this is just one piece of rubber. Got a grenade here on the back. Got the turtle shell hip guard. And then we've got his cargo pants. And then his boots. Feet rotate, knees bend, hips swivel, waist rotates. Like I said, all sorts of great points of articulation. Absolutely stunning figure. He comes with a blaster rifle. blaster handgun and speaking of hands he comes with four different hands so we've got an open open hand grasp action we've got a trigger finger hand another opposite open hand grasp and then a clutching clasping hand more in line with holding another weapon. Excuse me, NECA. Just knocked it out of the park with these guys. They are absolutely stunning. Super excited to have these in the collection. Like I said, $49.99 is the price. Target exclusive. Currently, they are only in store, but they will be available online shortly, according to Randy with NECA Toys. So keep a lookout for that. I'll put a product link down in the video description box below so you can keep a watchful eye on the website listing if you're not looking to drive around all over town looking for these guys. So let's go ahead and move on to Bebop. Looking quite stunning. Uh, one thing I did notice is the shell came out of the spot here. So definitely keep an eye on that. Easy to pop that back in there, but what happens when you over rotate that shoulder a little too much, it disconnects and has that little paint rub on it. So that's kind of a bummer. But other than that, he looks great. The glasses are removable. I don't recommend taking them off because look at that. Bebop stares into your soul. I mean, that's that's a little bit of a little bit of a shocking look to see him without his glasses and just that dead eye 
glassy stare that he's got, so definitely recommend keeping those shades down. Mouth does open, similar to his partner. Got the nice nose ring. Nose ring doesn't move any, but that's fine. Got the bone necklace. Rotates around. Just a nice little soft piece of rubbery plastic there. Got his nice mohawk ponytail. Soft, not gonna break that off or anything like that. Paint job, bandolier, grenades. I mean, everything is excellent on this. Little details like coloring the buttons here on his vest. He's got his studded spike collar. It's stationary, doesn't move. Same points of articulation we have, wrist bend, swivel, elbows, shoulders, knees, feet, hips, waist. We got a crunch and a twist here, and the head twist as well. Got his chain belt, just wraps around, sags around his back there. It is attached here in the front there, so that is kind of fused. And then his wrist chains, these swivel around, but as you can see, there's this little bitty hook where they're kind of captured onto his forearm there. Excellent, excellent looking figure. Accessories, similar accessories. We've got a blaster rifle. We've got a handgun blaster. And we also have four changeable hands. So we've got the open palm grasp. We've got the opposite hand open palm grasp. We've got a trigger finger hand. And then a similar grasping, clutching hand without the trigger finger. Absolutely great looking figure. Highly recommend you pick them up. And these figures are in the seven inch scale and this is what they look like with the previous released Shredder. Looks great together. We've got the amazing looking combo of the two bad dude brutes as well as their master Shredder. And one other accessory that these guys came with was this little turtle, excuse me, not turtle communicator, but this communicator that actually has like a photoshopped image of this shredder figure onto the communicator, which is identical in every way except for the fact of the image. So shredder previously came with this communicator and it had a picture of Krang. So now Bebop and Rocksteady have the same communicator, but it just has a picture of shredder waiting to bark some orders at them via the communicator. So. Very cool to add that in there as well. So great job, NECA. And for grins, let's go ahead and compare them to their original counterparts. So the original Rocksteady, as you can see here, has a helmet, whereas the NECA version does not. That is because the original cartoon version didn't really wear a helmet, the best of my recollection anyway. I mean, there was several, several, several episodes, but I don't ever recall him really looking like this. I mean, this was the cartoon version of Rocksteady. This was uh, an interpretation, so to speak, but it's come a long way. You can tell there's certain things in there, like the, the hip shells and the grenades and the belts. Um, he's got camo pants over here, and he's just got normal khakis over here. Uh, but other than that, you know, you can, you can see over the years that we've definitely got some amazing improvements on Rocksteady. Let's uh, move over to Bebop. And of course, along the same lines, uh, <laughs> stellar looking improvements as far as what we originally had with the 1988 Playmates Toys version. Uh, he's got the same kind of belt. He's got some red, red boots on here where we actually have some sneakers, laces, and some excellent paint jobs there. He's got the strap around his thigh. Here it's just painted black. Here it's actually color coordinated. Belt, similar chain, skull, necklace. I mean, obviously this is a different time and the world so the toys are going to be a lot less detailed but very cool to see the evolution of Bebop from this into this glorious figure. 